but we are going to create this as the dedicated ledger in order to address certain challenges and um, act as support so that we can fix some um, common errors or issues with code that you might face. Um, this is, we're only going to do it for like non-trivial problems. If you have minor problems with like warnings and things like that, we're not going to go and look at or address these problems on a case-by-case -case basis, right? So in order to fix the errors, we're going to go from um, our lecture, um, from the very last lecture, we're going to get our set seven code, right? So let's open that up and let's import that into our file so we can just drag and drop set seven. So copy the folder. Um, let's move this out. So this was our very last. So this is our set seven code. So let's just open a new terminal, right? And let's take a look at what happens when we use. Uh, let's first take a look at different my finance versions, right? So let's look at iPhone three point eight dash M eight three. So these are the current my finance versions that we are using. Inside iPhone three point eight, we're using this, and uh, Python three is running three point eleven point fourteen. So inside here, if we do Python three dash M eight three, we're going to get a different version of Python. So we had no problem running the code on this. However, when we go to uh, say when we do run this, we're going to get a problem. Let me just demonstrate to you. We're going to run Python three main dot pi, and unfortunately, we're going to get these errors, right? So this was not a problem in this so LSTD this thread. I mean, let's delete the process and let's shut down the terminal. And we will see that we have these problems in the previous Python 3.11 version. Okay, if we run it in Python 3.8, then I believe we did not um, get any problem, right? We managed to just go through every code and every ticker. So let's just terminate this for a moment. Okay, um, why is this so? Let's, just to show that we're gonna print out our data frame. Let's try that again. Not inside our data frame. Okay, let's um, do it one by one now. Okay, let's do it sequentially. So let's, instead of using threads, we're going to do something like this equals two. Let's just um, do a single function call. So instead of doing that, let's just do helper uh, on the first ticker, right? And we'll make a function call for the first stock. So let's just make this function call and see what's happening. Uh, Python 3.8, main.py, we run the main pi file and we get this object. So what happens if we make a function call in Python 3, which uses a different Y finance version? We get something that is already time zone aware. And so this is already time zone aware. And then we do time zone localized, and we're going to get um, the arrow saying that it is already aware of the time zone. So in order to make our code compatible for both versions, right, what we're going to do is we're going to um, go inside this code, grab the date only, and then put this inside a date time index, and then followed by add a zero um, UTC offset value, right? So over here, the UTC offset is minus five and uh, is four, and we do not want to have this UTC offset. So instead of working with this daytime column, we're just going to extract the dates and then put it in a new daytime index with a UTC offset of zero. So how do we do that? Okay, we can simply um, write df.datetime. Let's do pd.datetime index just to create a daytime index consisting of the column date time, then we want to access the DT accessor. We want to extract the date, then this is going to basically give us a time zone unaware. Uh, let me just show that to you, right? 
remember, we're getting a time zone for their index. And if we put it, uh, if we just extract the date and put it inside a data index, we're going to get something that is, um, of course, time zone unaware. And this doesn't even have a time zone or a time associated with it because the units, the finance units, is in days instead of the you know, 24 hour cycle. And then we're going to say uh, time zone localize to UTC. So this will give it the time zone awareness. Um, and set the UTC offset, offset to zero. So this is the same as um, if you did it in Python 3.8 with the other Yahoo Finance version. So this will give us the correct behavior in both Python 3.8 as well as uh, Python 3.9 um, with the sorry Python 3.11 with the other Yahoo Finance version. Now, of course, um, most likely the difference in code is because of the different um, behavior of the Yahoo Finance versions um, and how it interacts with the uh, Python implementation, but um, just so that those of you who are following along with a different Python version or a different Yahoo Finance version are not um, do not run into this error. Uh, we're just going to try to uh, make our code a little bit more robust. Of course, those of you who are running even you know other versions of Yahoo Finance might run into different errors. Uh, we advise that you look into um, what the what the differences in the variables are. You know maybe the problem is with uh, uh, the time compatibility and things like that. So we advise you to go and um, fix those errors proactively. And if you find a problem, you can always email me. Okay, so I'll start the lecture here and upload this as set eight.